Determinism entails a universe that is like a movie that unfolds with only one possible future. What will happen in the movie is already preset before you even hit play. Alternative possibilities and notions of could have turned out otherwise just don't apply to a movie because a movie can only turn out one way. Another way to think of determinism is that life proceeds as if moving through a tunnel where the tunnel never branches because there's only one possible future for the universe. And if the universe is deterministic, then you also have just one possible future that was laid out for you before you were even born. In fact, every choice you would ever make was preset at the beginning of the universe, just like the unfolding of a movie. In contrast, indeterminism would be more like a tunnel that branches, such as this one shown here. At a branching point, one possible path is open to you at the very same time that other possible paths are also open to you. Which one happens is not determined. It might be that one path is more probable than another, but it's not guaranteed that any given possible path is the one that will actually happen. On this view, your life really could have turned out very differently than it has turned out. Now, whether the universe is fundamentally deterministic or indeterministic is an open question. Some of our best theories in physics model the universe as deterministic. Albert Einstein's theories of special and general relativity, for example, are deterministic theories. In contrast, quantum theory, at least as it's interpreted by some people, including two of its founders, Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg, appears to suggest that events can really turn out in more than one possible way. Quantum theory can assign different possible outcomes very precise probabilities of happening, but we cannot know in advance which outcome will actually happen. Physics has yet to resolve the divide between deterministic theories and indeterministic theories of how events unfold. But only one side can be correct. The universe is either deterministic or it is not deterministic. So, one of the central goals of physics remains bridging a theory of gravitation with a theory of events in the quantum domain. Now, from the point of view of any subset of the universe, say your brain, influences will come in from outside in a manner that is not predictable given past events that happen solely within your brain. For example, light or some other form of energy might enter the brain and trigger brain events. From the point of view of events in the brain, such externally triggered events might appear to happen randomly. So even if the universe as a whole were deterministic, brain events would appear to be in part random. One possibility is that it is not ultimately knowable whether the universe is fundamentally deterministic or indeterministic. Perhaps, in order to answer this, we would have to be able to observe all particles in the universe. Even if this were possible in practice, which it most certainly is not, we would run into a difficult problem in that we ourselves are part of the universe. We would end up having to observe all events in the universe, including those events which realize our own acts of observation. Just as it is impossible to lift yourself up or for an eye to turn around and look at itself, it might be impossible for an observer to observe his or her own acts of observation. This would make it in principle unknowable whether the universe is deterministic or not. Be that as it may, events in the brain are at the very least not fully determined by past brain events. A question we will ask later in the course is whether such randomness, whether real or only apparent, plays any role in neural information processing.